Hi guys, in this video we're gonna talk about high blood pressure, hypertension, okay? So, where do I start? Well, first of all, there's something called secondary hypertension, which really comes from something else. So let's say, for example, you are on kidney dialysis, you have a kidney problem, kidney damage. That alone can cause hypertension, okay? But there's another type of hypertension called primary hypertension, or essential hypertension, or idiopathic hypertension. All these are the same thing, and what this means is it has an unknown cause, okay? Idiopathic means we don't know what causes it. And there's no cure, okay? But there's a treatment, right? Medication. And of course, they'll tell you to avoid salt, and you're salt sensitive, put you in a diuretic, or other medications. All right, and then you have something called the metabolic syndrome, uh, which is composed of high blood pressure, hypertension, high cholesterol, high sugar, belly fat, and insulin resistance. Okay, so that's interesting. Well, let's take a look. If you research uh, insulin resistance, you're gonna find it has a side effect, okay? One of the side effects of insulin resistance, which by the way is high insulin, is high blood pressure. In other words, high blood pressure is being caused by insulin resistance, too much insulin. And if you look at metabolic syndrome, all these other diseases, in addition to hypertension and high cholesterol and high blood sugar and belly fat, these are all symptoms of insulin resistance. So it's very confusing when you try to do research because it'll say insulin resistance is an associated factor, it might be a risk factor. No, 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 it's the cause of these other things right here. Now, let's take a look at what high insulin or insulin resistance will do. It makes your arteries stiff. Now, having stiff arteries and hardened arteries, you think that might increase your blood pressure a little bit? It does. It causes sodium retention. Yeah, sodium retention, okay? So, and it also causes low potassium. Sodium and potassium work together. When you have high sodium, you're gonna have low potassium. Potassium deficiencies will also cause hypertension, but that could be coming from the insulin resistance. So. I don't think people are salt sensitive, I think they're potassium deficient because they don't consume enough vegetable. Uh, you, your body needs 4,700 milligrams every single day. Yeah, to get that potassium, you would have to have between seven and 10 cups of vegetable or salad every single day. You might not be doing that, okay? And that could be part of the problem, but mainly it's the insulin resistance which will then block the absorption of potassium and then exaggerate the higher levels of sodium and create the problem. So what's been the missing link is this cause-effect relationship and the confusion that is out there on this topic. I would highly recommend start researching insulin resistance. I put some links down below. So you can start looking at the relationship between these two and start to improve the root cause, which is high levels of insulin, okay? Do things to lower insulin. One would be start consuming a lot of salads, Number two, cut out the sugar, because that's what raises the insulin. Do intermittent fasting, do the ketogenic program, which will lower your sugars. So I put some links down below, so you can become more educated on insulin resistance, so you can address this symptom of high blood pressure. Thanks for watching. Hi guys, listen, I wanna thank you so much for your wonderful comments. And I wanna ask you if you wouldn't mind giving me your review on Google. I put a link down below, I'd really appreciate it. And thank you in advance.